You guys have tuned in right now, and we have the beautiful and lovely, we have the beautiful and lovely Sierra here. Siphon Rosenberg are well, currently arguing about no, arguing? Man, Sife's nah, I'm getting assertion. My fuck Ebro shirt. Sife's assertion it? that Sierra is older than Future. I was just wondering if they if they knew each other before they was together, like high school days, Atlanta, the real Atlanta, because now it's all everybody in Atlanta ain't from Atlanta. Right. But you guys well, are OGs. We're what now? OG OGs Atlanta. OGs. Yeah, pretty much. You know, A-O-G's when you're from Atlanta, we're all kind of like connected from yeah, jump. Somehow. So, some y'all, way, y'all somehow. Y'all been to a cookout together, even if you didn't know each other. There was a cookout happening somewhere. You know what? It was. It, I did a when I did. You oh, ain't know. when I did, oh, you didn't even know it. When I did the old video shoot, I did it in his neighborhood. So. You know, you got yeah. those way, way, way back. Yeah, so. That was the video where you were on mm. top of mm. a car. <laughs> oh, yeah. And popping it like, oh, correct? <laughs> I guess so. Yes, popping it like, oh, I guess I was doing that. Because I was like, oh, who's the 17 year old on top of the I car? I was 18 then. Oh. Yeah. By that point. Oh. <laughs> oh. How old were you with goodies? Um, I was. 17 going on 18. Oh, okay. See, right that's the that. more. Question. See, everything was kind of like turning into 18. Going on 18. Yeah. So you were like, right oh. at that, that's, that's that sweet spot. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, on the future topic, yeah, I feel know. like he's more in love with you than you are with him. Oh he's been more what? like outright, that's my girl. What? I love her. What are you and saying? And I haven't heard you say that. You just you may haven't heard the things that I've said then. I'd like to hear So them. maybe you only heard. Um, Few things that I said, but that's so false. Well, and let me tell you. Let me. Ebro is kind of. He's either on a really big future kick recently. He loves okay, future. Okay, so maybe he's paying more attention to his no, stuff so than he's he, paying attention to my he stuff. He just wants okay. to know. No, it's even deeper than that. He just wants to know that you really love his guy. Absolutely. Oh, for sure. No doubt about it. I guess it's a real deal. For sure. Would you say there's a future oh uh, yeah. <laughs> there's a bright you look future. at my joke bad and i and you want to go off with that wait let me see your finger i heard that you had a tattoo let me see a tattoo there is an n on her ring finger there and the stands N-word. for his uh real name what's his real name again it's nevadius what is it no his name is meathead we all know him as meathead that's his nickname fuck out of here we know you as meathead okay <laughs> you guys are crazy no because i no i'm a future fan and people don't know that he's Dungeon Family original, so that's why I really like him. It's not just that. I've taken immense crap, by the way, over the last few months because a year ago, when I barely knew Future's music and they he, they put him on the freshman list, you guys remember yeah, my yeah, direct yeah. quote? Uh-huh. Well, I no. think it was, pardon, oh, I think gosh. it was Future's trash. Yeah, I think was the. Well, no, listen. And then I no, and then there were so many conversations. Then I saw bumped into his manager, had all these conversations, didn't realize who he was, checked out more stuff, and amended it to being like. And I still feel this way. I don't consider Future a rapidy rapper. I'm right there with you. But I think he's dope. I just don't think him as a rapper like Look, that. Look, I told I him. I think him as a he's sound. He's like he's a he's a hybrid. Like he had, he can rap, he can sing, he can write, he can produce. His he's voice, like he's me, just an amazing he's like an amazing artist. Like. By the way, a, a quick interruption, guys, just because we have a series. This happens every this day. Is our interviews. Be about him. No, it's, it's about us actually. About us. Okay. Fuck to everyone on YouTube right now who's commenting, stop talking to Sierra about Future. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Let's talk more about Future because it you is interesting. I was crazy. just thinking we should probably talk about Sierra. No, well, so we're going to get to Sierra. We're going to get to it, but the only interesting way sometimes to get to these stars, Future is one of the most interesting people in the game right now. You're talking to his beautiful, talented, well-known girlfriend, but you still want to hear things about Future. He's an interesting, he's and an trust. enigma right now. No, and trust, when he's here, we're going to be asking about you. Exactly. Hey, but more specifically hey, about Rosenberg. Stop reading fucking YouTube comments and worry about the interview. Just do a good interview. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, for, for the future fans, um, I didn't become a fan until I actually met him, went to the studio, and heard him do his craft without the auto-tune. Because the auto-tune, for me as a music fan, automatically makes me think that you don't have talent, so you need something to help you, right? But I went to the studio, and I was like, yo, oh, yeah, this dude sound. is incredible. Not... And because the way he freestyles his music and puts it all together, it starts out as like a freestyle, like it's not really formulated. Then, then he goes he shapes back it. and shapes it, which so is he does right. improv. Future does improv. Woo! Yes, and that bitch. Oh, he loves that. <laughs> yes. You know what I'm it's surprised just about? Just it's, white, it's white improv talk comedy. It, you won't even. Just, Sierra, I'm surprised that. Can you, wait, you, can you please yeah. do that one more time? What? What you just did? Yes, and that. B- 
bitch. <laughs> If you go ahead, knew Fox. How dorky that was. It's even dorkier than it appears. It's dorkier than you it is on the surface. You, yeah. you ain't even know. You guys are crazy. All right, let's turn up. <laughs> Insane. I'm actually surprised that you are talking about your relationship because in the past you really haven't. Given Always us been private, right? Very private. Always. Private. Always. So yeah. why now? Why? You know what? You live and you learn. Um, and for me, I've learned a lot through my experience of how I did things before, and I feel like. I just I felt comfortable in this situation one I feel like you have to be comfortable because when you do step outside you put yourself in a situation for everyone to have an opinion and for everyone to really be able to be more vocal than they would be if they didn't know as much or didn't know anything so you know but in this situation and in my life I just feel very comfortable with where I am and he makes me feel very comfortable you know with being that way so you know but you again you do live and learn like I've I've learned from doing things a certain way before and I feel like you know, I wanted to be able to do things differently, and luckily, I was a perfect time and perfect person. So, so was was yeah. Fifty oh. uncomfortable with the public? Oh, you know what's so funny? Um, how do I say this? Um, in that situation, I, I for me, it, it just or, organically She's we both. Not, what? No, Let the moment be. What is wrong You're never with you? Talk. Let it happen, oh, God, Jesus. God. I've got um, in that situation, because because what I did learn too is that when you don't speak on things, people could put their own story together. They kind of assume what they they assume they make their own story. What is going on with y'all? We're just excited. We're listening. What, for what? Because the last time you were here, we asked you about f that relationship forty times in a row, and you shot us down. So to well, hear you, you know open what? It up, so let her speak. I, I, know, I really don't have too much to say about it, but stopping. I'll just say this though: what I have learned though, or even in that situation, people again they. They're, they create their own right. understanding of what something is. And I feel like, um, what was your question again? 50 was uncomfortable with the public. Well, Future is more comfortable with Wrong. The so, okay, this is what it is. Because, again, it's something I really don't want to talk about. Right. Like you said, um, I don't really talk about it. Um, and so that is what it is. But I've never been in a situation where someone has ever told me they want to be one way. And I never, ever. I would never be in a situation like that so with it's anybody. You. It's the fact so. that you've changed over I've time. I've just always... I, when I had my first experience of being in front of people, which was what, when I was really young, I learned like I was like I kind of I'm not sure if I really want to do that got again. It, so then I moved on in my life and I kind of did it a different way. And and now you're a grown ass woman. And absolutely. You're kind of taking control of your career and you're in love with someone and he's in love with you and it's like let's celebrate love and live love. I just feel, it's really lady, it's just really again like being comfortable like in the setting you know you live you miss out on a lot in life when you you know live inside you really do like it's not healthy and you know inside your, when you live inside yourself, when you live in a house when you just do <laughs> things when Hold you on. live when you live privately right like you know what i've learned too is like if you just try to do everything for everyone to make everyone happy like or not make everyone happy but to do things perfectly like you still people are going to have something to say no matter what you do even if it's yeah. perfect in their face you're going to still have people saying like da 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 trying to be too perfect yeah they're going to they're going to say something no matter what no matter so it's what. like just live your life for you but that's why i'm in my life right now i'm like i'm going to live my life for myself you like, know so live your life right just oh. live your life you know that reminds me of hey oh God. Hey Perfect transition, so that was pretty Rihanna. Good. You guys they have a R and beef. There's R and beef. Allegedly, there's now, allegedly R and beef. Now I, I've told I don't these even guys, and I told you, no I told these guys, and I told you, Sierra. I don't believe that you and Rihanna don't get along in real life. Rihanna's got a hit song with Future. That is the man you love. You have a song that you collaborated with Future, and all of a sudden, two of arguably the prettiest girls in R and B have beef on Twitter. I don't. I, I'm not buying it. What I think it's said? a publicity Fox, stunt. I from don't, don't have know? no beef. Well, what was said? What happened exactly? I don't know. You tell me. Fox, what was said? Um, I don't have it verbatim, but I think Rihanna kind of took a shot at you with uh, some sort of fake twin or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what the quote was. But but she it was a diss. It was a stab. It was a stab. Light stab. Did you feel like it was a stab? Some sort of stab? How do I answer this one too? Because I don't want to spend too much time no, on it. No, we don't it, have but to. And here's, here's one thing I'm gonna tell you. It. I what? appreciate that you've like kind of evolved a little bit in how you handle things, and we don't have to dwell on it. But you can still give us an answer that's not. No, you damning. know what? It, it, it is what it is. Like again, I said this before. I don't know what she's on. Like whatever she's on, she can have it. Like I'm so cool. I'm so in my zone right now. It's not that many of us doing what we do. It shouldn't be anything but love. I feel like for all of us, and what we do is different anyway. So I can understand what the need to create, you know, drama will be out of it. But 
I wish her well. Well, according to Kay Fox's interpretation of the lyrics, she's on Moonshine and Molly. Anyone's paying well, attention? Well, um, I have some tweets here. Um, I think Rihanna, you actually responded to one of her tweets, and it said, trust me, Rihanna, you don't want to see me on or off the stage. Ooh, ooh hold on. Now, that was not what you just said <laughs> to me at all, Sierra. You just That's lied to my different. face. I just made it. I just got, I mean, I was, you know, I'm passing. You cleaned it up. Because what you said there was <laughs> no, come see You know, it's chick. all love. But no, Kumbaya. because I'm just saying, no, I'm meaning it's all love in reference to where I come from, like, I mean, I'm done with that. Like, she can have it. Yo, want to test the rock. On or off the job. stage. Come see me. Because <laughs> if you want her on the stage, we could dance battle. <laughs> I'd like to see a dance battle. But a if dance. you want to do something Sierra else. Sierra would get the dance battle because she can dance. dance. We, Rihanna, yeah, we know yeah, that. Yeah. I love Rihanna. She doesn't dance. Though. You can dance you know, your team, ass off, I, by I am, Thank By the way, you. I should tell you, I am the, um, the New York, uh, I'm the captain of the New York chapter of Team Riri. But that doesn't affect how I feel about you at it's all. Only, it's only against you teams. What now? Say it again. I'm the, uh, he's not. He's not existing. I'm the that. vice president of the New York chapter <laughs> of Team Riri, and we have meetings. But team Riri is against Team Beyonce. It's only against Team Beyonce. Only. We're not. Okay, and I'm, and right. see me, I'm Team Beyonce only because Beyonce has the catalog, the stage, the looks, and the money, Jay the has husband. You washing Beyonce's underwear on Saturdays. Yes, no so. problem. But you <laughs> no know problem. what's really sad that these beautiful women. Rihanna, Sierra, Beyonce can't coexist together and just everybody do their thing so without says, any beef. Yeah, what? So says you know the girl what, no. on a on a reality show. The <laughs> gossip That's game. all. Like, Don't worry the about whole, all that. Whole Don't beats. worry about that. We're talking no, about Sierra. People, the girl, well I think everybody can coexist. You know, and I have a lot of respect for Beyonce. I think she's just an amazing performer and just a really, really like she's a beast. She's like busted. She's worked hard to be where she is right now, and she deserves all the respect. And just a brief uh, jump in here. For the audience, notice the accolades and for adoration Beyonce. for Beyonce and the willingness to spend time on Beyonce versus Rihanna. <laughs> you guys are crazy. My cap, the, my savior. I'm not spending time on something I don't, have to, I don't need to spend time on. I think she handled that well. I'd like I to think, talk about her one woman army. Okay, let's hear about it. Oh, that's why she's what? on, like, army geared out. I like, I like that, Jack. I like the well, you know, it's One Woman Army is where I started with the project. Because mm -hmm. when I first came to see you guys, you know, I talked about the record and how everything was, um, you know, developing at that time period. And I've been able to put out some songs. You know, I put out a few records in the process of still making the record. And then as we were moving along, I kind of just started to take a different creative turn. And, like, I found some new inspiration along the way. So the One Woman Army movement still exists. And it's still a part of who I am because it represents my strength and my struggles and my journey. However, um, you know, the, the best way for me to title the record at the time period or at this moment was just simply Sierra. So it's a self-titled album now. Okay. Sierra. So the OWA and this movement is the one that still you're exists. In studio with Future with, right? This is well, I mean, he we me, him and Mike Will, we pretty much closed out the record. And actually I did some crazy records with Rock City too. Um, but that is Body Party was a record that me, him, and Mike Will did. And so that was the start of the new turn kind of thing. So that's the official first record of the Mike whole Will, new journey for know, me. Mike Will made it. Pour it up, Rihanna. Mm -hmm. No, he didn't do that record. Yes, he did. Yeah, he, yeah. he has that sound. That's his kind of little. And Mike's on fire right yeah, now. He's doing like quite he's well. He's super turned up. No, his records are crazy. 100% yeah, turned beast. up. This is the first time we said turned up the whole interview. What's going on? We're failing. No, you no. Have to, your, your word has to be super turned up. Super turned up. Exactly. Sierra, what is Sierra your real name? Yes, it is. And what's your real last name? Harris. Sierra Harris. I was thinking about how many. You never read a Sierra record and saw the credits. Can I be honest with you? Underground. He's all underground. No. You guys are crazy. No offense, dude. This I'm a two right backpacker do DJ. You think, I like Sierra. I always liked her songs. I played them in the club. I didn't right. get the album and no, open like, up. Like, oh, I want to tell who uh, on, the, this? on the twelve inch vinyl when it came out. I mean, I like playing at parties where there's you know females. But you know, so he's not the you R&B guy. The Sierra records. You can see it if you're looking. At, yo, man. No, you try to you try to play me in a way that doesn't even make sense. You don't read the. Anyways, I just thought it'd be funny if her last name was something that really didn't go with Sierra. But like you what? Out. Like your mystique would be so different. Like if your Sierra name was... Obabatumbe. No, I was gonna go with a different kind of racist joke, more like Sierra Jenkins, like that. How it, the mystique would change. See, no, see, no. Now there's more that Jenkins. Fun. That Sierra fun. Jenkins. So that should be your next. He's just being white. Yeah. Sometimes we sometimes Sierra we just Rothstein? go. You, that would have been interesting if we found out that her. Dad was Jewish. I would have then been like, "Wow, my mom's Jewish. Maybe you should break up with Future. It could be me and you. We can have oh, Jewish babies. Oh, light skinned Jew, light baby, skinned man. Jew babies. We'd be on fire." Mm. But you that's not gonna happen. No, so. so I get it. So just forget. We'll move it. Right along. Just forget it. Sierra. The name of the album is Sierra. It is. And it comes out 
July 9th. July yes, 9th. July 9th is the date. And for those of you keeping score at home, Sierra is not involved in any red bone beef with Rihanna. It's not happening. However, if there is a pay-per-view oil wrestling match or you want to reach out to Vince McMahon and it's Sierra Ooh. versus Rihanna, Steel Cage. Oh, um, falls be- Count Anywhere. Um, let's go like more like lighter, like Diva, a Divas match that they'd have, like a lingerie match. Oh. Ooh. Sierra. You guys are nuts. Versus Rihanna. That's too now, K Fox, you could be the manager. There's always a hot I'll manager. I'll get that money. I'll get that money. We know. We know. <laughs> we know. There's gonna be a lot of money Y'all just made crazy. up. Crazy. All right. Her name is Sierra Rothstein. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Also, my um album is on iTunes right now too for pre-order. I just want to say that. Oh, pre-order. Get that, get that pre-order. early. Yes, we'll pre-order. Right my fans made me number one in the half of a day. So thank y'all. Yo, nice. big up to the Sierra yeah. fans. And are they influencing you to wear those body suits that you've been? Remember that one video where you're kind of laying in the sleek suit and you kind of had the... Yo, why are you rubbing your crotch when you tell this? Sorry, sorry. What um, video? What what, I mean, what sleek suit? Look. The black little, you know, um, where you had the microphone and you kind of had the microphone and you... Yo, okay. Promise. That's the yeah, one. Promise. Are my fans inspiring to do that? Yeah, because we need more of that. <laughs> yeah, how do we make... The music is inspiring me. Um, my, the music is... You know, don't just don't you. blush, fam. You do the bodysuit crazy no, body. No, but I'm just saying the fan. I mean, I just get it. The fans inspire me to turn up. Let me just say that. Turn, super turn up. To turn up, yes. To to, to be super turned up. To be to be. So I'm glad you got it properly. Yes. Up. Twerk, um, Molly, Ratchet. Ratchet, Yolo, Ratchet. Real low. Yolo, mm-hmm. Swerve, Ratchet, Twerk. Yeah, she what did. is going What in the combination? It Yolo, doesn't. Swerve, Ratchet, Twerk. Or, 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 or oh, you're Molly saying like the different words. Ratchet. Yeah. Okay, ratchet I thought he had like it's his really whole ra- saying. No, it's like Ratchet Turn Up Molly is the same. You haven't heard that? Ratchet Turn Up Molly? No. You got to let her hear it. Yeah, you, it's out there. You'll hear it soon. Ratchet Turn Up Molly. Yeah, it's a new song that people are talking about. Just buzzing off a little it's bit. It's the Turn Up Twins featuring Tina Turn Up. Yeah, it's, just, it's on, but you'll hear it in the club oh, soon. Crazy. Ask Future about it. You know, it's, it's out there buzzing a little bit. We're going to get a hook from Future. Oh, we're hooking them up. It's oh, is that a, what's going to happen? It's going to be a super group. Wait, hold on. You're saying that Future. Just hearing the title of the group, the Turn Up Twins featuring Tina Turn Up, you think he's not instantly gonna go? I need to get on. That. I need to work with that. It's it's retarded. It's the of Turn Up Twins go. featuring Tina Turn Up. Yes, mm-hmm. sounds pretty good. You have to admit it sounds pretty good. You might not be Ratchet Turn Up Molly Swerve Twerk. Y'all got that. Yo, by the way, the, the last thing I want to say is the disconnect with her. The funniest thing about Sierra, I think, is that her videos are so sexy and she's so sensual and. And in person, it's so, if you bring it up, it's like it's a different human being altogether. She's so innocent in person. It's the Janet Jackson thing. I'm not even going to lie. You know how Janet, she did her videos, and then when she's in person. She's like, like, I'm just Janet. And then all of a sudden her nipple pops out, and she's got some (laughs) armor on her nipple. And you're like, yo, what happened? (laughs) Yeah, you was this nice girl. Where's Penny? Uh, 